Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, September 19th. Week 94. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's a good week, though. It is a good week. I'll let you start. Well, let's get right into the weights and stuff, because I know a lot of people just want to know where we're yeah. at. Last week, I was 330.6. Six. Six. And this morning, I hadn't weighed this week, so I was a little not sure where I'd be. I was 325.4. So that is down 5.2 pounds from last week. Yay! Yeah, and there's there's a couple of reasons we'll talk about when we get all the weight stuff done real quick. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm feeling so much better. I am not on metformin, and it's not hurting my stomach, and I'm feeling a lot better. So that's a good start. It's a good, good start. It's kind of showing because I'm able to move more, do more, feel better. The stomach's yeah. not killing them like stomach's normal. Not tear me up. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a it's a good week. It's a good week. <laughs> So I started in last week, I weighed in at 140. It was a, an up week for me. And this morning I weighed in at 137.2. So I'm down 2.8. Good for you. Stacy's been more active at work too. So she's yes. getting more steps in and her little Fitbit. Or yeah. Actually, you're using the Apple Watch. I have the right? Apple Watch, yeah. We have a conflict in this house. I'm a Fitbit user. She's an Apple Watch user. We, we used to be in sync and we could like join challenges together and stuff. And now we... Yeah. I miss joining joining the challenges. However, I miss you in the challenges. Aww. But if anybody out there is a Fitbit user or an Apple Watch user and wants to do the little challenge things, say something in the comments below, and we'll send you a link and let you know how to connect with yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely a, a little bit of a divide, which is not normal here. I like my Fitbit, um, but the Apple Watch has so many more features that I use when I'm at work for the um, my breaks because we're timed breaks and. Uh, things I of that nature. Timer. I like mine better. My watch has a timer. My phone has a timer. But anyway, what else? Because I'm I'm listening. I just love my my Apple Watch. You know why I, can... I like the Fitbit? Because it's simple. It tells me exactly how many steps. <laughs> the minute I looked this up, I had three thousand six hundred steps this morning at uh, eleven a.m. And I have a heart rate Whoa. of ninety five, which is kind of high today. And um, yeah, the date, whatever I need, is right here. I don't have to mess and fiddle. This is what I want because it's simple. Yeah, but if my phone is blown up, I get a quick uh, I get alert. messages I, on my phone too. I get a quick alert my, here and I can take a quick peek at it. I can control my hearing aids. You it. can respond with that. I can respond I can't to respond. it. Right. But I just see who it is. If it's you, I'll respond. But if it's not, I'll just... Oh, because he loves me. I'll get to him later. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way it works. Goodness. Yeah. But yeah, so it's been a good week. Um, yes. Like I said, I've been more active at work. Um, I did my card manager this morning. Oh my goodness. I have to get more fats in. That's my problem. Speaking of card manager, I was just talking to them the other day. I was yeah. asking some simple questions. And uh, what they've done for me is extended me to the end of this month, which is like another week and a half or something, yeah. on their premium program so that I could kind of explore it a little bit and just have some fun with it. So I've been creating meals, things that I eat, where it's three or four things that I create a meal. I put Bill's egg breakfast. And I put all those things that I eat, even including my coffee and things, into that. And it is kind of nice. i got to say, I might break down and pay for the premium thing for a year. I think it's like on sale, $29 every once in a while. Yeah. Because it does let you get those grouped meals. And I tend to eat a lot of the same meals the same way each day. Yes. You know, if I have my chicken thigh and my broccoli and, you know, it's just simple. So I, I think uh, I might check it out. I've, I've been playing with it. I just started dabbling with it and I'm actually kind of liking it. So yeah. maybe I'll maybe I'll be a card manager convert. I used 93 weeks of the free version and maybe <laughs> it's time to just invest in myself a little and save a little time and a little hassle and yeah. go up to the premium. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. So that way when you do your recipes or my recipes, it can, yes, the we recipes. can save it as a uh, favorite. Yeah, because you can put it all in there ingredient-wise and then split it up by how yeah. many servings there are. And then we can choose one serving of those meatballs, that specific blend. Yeah, yeah, I think I like that idea. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah, I wonder if I can share it with you. Because you know how we can share input. Yeah. Like if I scan something, I could share it to your card manager. I wonder if I can share a premium feature like that. Like if I create that meatball thing in my profile. If I can share it to your profile and if you can choose it and use it. I don't I know. Have, I have to laugh as he's sitting here talking to me. I'm realizing everything is pretty quiet. 
I don't have my hearing aids on. Don't oh. let me go to work without my hearing aids. No, you won't forget them. I was wondering why it was so quiet. <laughs> yeah. No, so, um, well, on to the next babble is my whole weight situation. Not weight situation, but medical. Yeah. Um, I went off two weeks of metformin, and I felt the best I've felt in well over a year. I've always been saying since last year in May when I had a colonoscopy, something wasn't right. Well, I've never even equated that it might be the medicine. I was on that form for nine right. years previous to that, okay, and never thought a thing of it. Yeah. Um, I told the doctor I was starting to have some troubles, but what I didn't realize was we had switched pharmacies from CVS to Costco Pharmacy yeah. where Stacy's working now. So... When we did that, I didn't realize that the manufacturer of the metformin was a different manufacturer. Didn't even cross my mind. I've been no. at it for years. Yeah. Well, apparently every manufacturer has different inner uh, ingredients and properties and coatings that are different sometimes and things like that can affect the way a medicine makes you feel. I thought that was crazy. I read it online. And I'm like, I don't know if that's true. I took this stuff way too long. But then when I started reviewing, when we switched pharmacies, it was just before my colonoscopy. And that changed the manufacturer of the metformin. And then we ended up having trouble with metformin. Well, I didn't know it was metformin. I thought it was right. from the colonoscopy. Right. I have spent literally the last 9 to 12 months just miserable. I have not felt good. I have, my stomach has been a knot and a mess. And then I thought it was keto related because uh, if you go back and watch some of our videos, I'm like, maybe I'm doing too much protein. Maybe I'm, you know, maybe I've yeah. got to adjust my fats is too high because I don't have a gallbladder. Maybe my fats are too high. And this is really messing my stomach up. You know, I went to the most basic keto eating that you can do. I was like eggs, <laughs> butter, piece of chicken, some broccoli, water, black coffee. That was it. And I still wasn't feeling good and my stomach was a mess. Long story short, I have a theory to feeling that the metformin, or at least the manufacturer of the metformin yeah. from switching pharmacies, um, might have had something to do with it. When I went off of it for two weeks, I probably about four days, three days, four days into it, I yeah. was amazingly feeling better. I got more done. I feel better. I look better. I feel like more me. I'm getting more done. And then... Per our agreement, I went back on it on Saturday night, right after our update, that Saturday morning last week. Yeah. And by Sunday night, three doses in, the Saturday night, the Sunday morning, the Sunday evening, I was on the couch, like all balled up and rocking. I felt horrible. I mean, yeah. and then I wasn't sure if it was the event form and I had a feeling. But uh, yeah, so I stopped it. Monday morning, I did not take it. And I'd say it took probably to like Thursday until I started feeling okay again. Yeah. Uh, man, it just tore me up. So I sent a message off. I still haven't heard back. Um, I am on my own trying to combat some of these things with a more natural approach. Uh, the things that I've looked up and read, I always mess this up. I always add a D to this stuff. Ber Berberine. I still probably said it wrong. <laughs> this stuff is supposed to help with your natural sugars. So I'm taking some of that. I'm not having any troubles with my stomach. Apple cider vinegar with the mother. I'm taking some of that and not having any trouble with my sugars, yeah. or with my stomach, I mean. And the thing about this is I've tried just doing a shot glass of apple cider vinegar. I, I just can't do it. So this is the closest I'm gonna get to it at this point. I'm giving that a try again to help to try and combat those sugars. And then, um, Sinsulin, which is um, basically cinnamon, and that's another thing that's been talked about that can help naturally reduce blood sugars. Yeah. So I am giving all that a try, and uh, we'll see where we're at. And when we get done down here, I'm going to go upstairs and add to this video, probably right here, no. um, <laughs> my, my morning blood sugar, because I haven't checked it yet today, and then my ketones. I've got the little ketone meter. I thought I brought my little bag down here, but I guess I didn't. So here I am at the kitchen table, and I've got my little diabetic bag here. This is actually a bag that my mom used for her diabetic supplies and whatnot. And since she's passed, well, it might not be the most manly thing or anything, but, you know, I smile every time I use it, thinking of her. So in this kit, I have my contour meter, which I love, and my little strips, and my little poker poker. And then I also have my keto scan meter. So we are going to check some 
sugars. Let's see what it is this morning. It's not been great because I've been off that metformin, but I have started some of those other things. And uh, let's just see what kind of number we get. Change my needle. Give a quick poke. Squeeze it. Clean it. Squeeze again. Let's see. Drum roll, please. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm doing this on camera. I can't believe it. Okay, that's not a bad sugar for me. 164. I don't know if we'll be able to see that in camera. 164. So, um, this is no medicines, guys. Uh, it was three to 400 sugars, sometimes over 400, on a ton of medicines before. So, 164, very happy with that. Um, I've got to figure out how to do this because I have to be using my phone to do my keto scan. So maybe I'll just take a snapshot of whatever the reading for this is. But this is my little keto scan meter. And you turn it on, you open it up, you sync it with the app which is on the phone, and then I'll be able to give you a uh, accurate idea of where I'm at on my ketosis. Uh, it's been a little bit low, a little disappointingly low, because the sugars have been a little higher. But gosh, you know, uh, 164, I'll take that at this point. Um, yeah, going to keep working on it. So I'll add in a picture of this in a second, and we'll go from there. I used the Keto Scan Mini meter here, which I actually really like this thing. I use this probably a few times a week now just to instant check the um, ketones. You don't use a strip or anything like you do for the glucose, the blood glucose. So I think it has like 300 checks in it before I have to send it in and, or get another little unit or whatever. But uh, these things are awesome. I really enjoy it and I really like it. Uh, I've linked it and talked about it before. I'll put it in the description if you guys want to check it out. But here's the deal. <clears throat> Today was 164, I believe, for my sugar. And I'm getting a little old, so I might have forgot five minutes ago. But I checked my ketones. My ketones have been disappointing for me. I've had like a 1.6 to like a 3 point something one day. I was excited, right? Well, today I got over 6. And it says you are in stable ketosis. Maybe that's part of the reason I'm down 5 this week. I don't know. I'm really happy. I'm not doing the metformin, which makes me happy. But I'm also adding in those other things to try and help combat those sugars. And for the very first time that I'm seeing on the keto scan meter here, it's actually starting to look good. Now, tomorrow it could be back down. Who knows? But, hey, I just thought I'd share that with you. I'm going to import the pictures because uh, the app's on the phone, so I can't record and show at the same time. It's really weird. But, so I'm going to add those in because my ketones have been struggling with the sugars being higher. The ketones go down. But, uh, yeah, I'm giving this every effort I got. Every day I've been very busy. Yeah. I was out there maintaining the generator yesterday trying to save us some money so that we don't have to pay yeah, a service fee. Yeah, saved quite a bit. Yeah, changed all the stuff inside, the oil, the air. It's called the, the Austin Spark Revere. Plug. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I've been on my feet. I've been moving. been averaging, you know, eight to 12,000 steps a day, which is great for me. Yeah. Um, I purposefully have just been in motion, keeping busy. It's been so much better. I haven't had to rub his belly as much. Nope. His belly, his sides, and his back, trying to... You could see it in the mirror. Oh, yeah, you could, you could see, see it. You could stomach. feel the hardness there, mm -hmm. and that's all... Uh, Gone. Yeah. I feel so much better, like, in my belly. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so so those are all happening, and I'm trying to combat it a little bit more naturally here. See if I can get the sugars closer to where they were. Yeah. You know? I mean, heck, when I was on insulin and glimpyride and bidurin and metformin, and they were all at their max levels, yeah. I was still getting three, 400 sugars. Now I'm averaging, you know, 175-ish. Which yeah. is not good. I mean, but diabetic. Better than with all the medicine. Yeah, the being sugar diabetic, I want to be under 125. But, yeah. But yeah, no, um, I'm, I'm feeling really positive about this and, and feeling better. Makes I'm me able so to happy. do more and I'm able to feel like, you know, let's go for a bike ride because I'm like, ah, oh, it feels so good. Yeah. Yeah. No. Not one to be far good. from a bathroom. So. <laughs> yeah, and I live by the bathroom. And, you know, here's the funny thing, too, is the doctor diagnosed me with IBS, and they gave me some other medicines for that. It was called Linzess or something. Yeah. And that made things even worse because I literally couldn't be within three steps of a bathroom at all times. And, uh, you know, I just, I just felt like something was wrong with my colonoscopy because yeah. that's when it started. But uh, I'll tell you what, 
I mean, this might be a little too soon to say it, but three weeks now of two weeks of not taking it and then a couple of days right. of not taking it after, I'm starting to feel normal again. And uh, I'm very, very happy. And I'm not taking that lens less because I don't have that weird irritable bowel, bowel syndrome type yeah. feeling that that's what I was told. That I'm trying to follow the doctor's orders, you know. Listen to your doctor and take the medicine they tell you. But long story short, feeling a lot better on nothing except for a couple of these supplements that I'm choosing. So right. let's see if I can make that happen. I'm hopeful. Hopeful as well. So it's, far, so good. I say so far, so good. So, it's definitely seeming to help at this point. Yeah, and I'm and I'm rereading my Jason Fung books. I've, I've read them. Uh, I'm rereading them again for a little bit of like mental strength just to kind of get me more focused back into the importance of the insulin resistance by yeah. fasting. Uh, I've done a couple of days of OMAD uh, this week, one meal. and. Yeah. Yeah, last night I had a OMAD meal of just some scrambled eggs with some uh, little bits of bacon in it. It was wonderful. <laughs> yeah, it was like 7 o'clock at night. I just decided I think I'm going to eat instead of like fast full through. But uh, I've been getting in a 30 to 40 hour fast a week. Um, not a problem anymore because my stomach's not killing me. Right. Oh my gosh. You would sit, We would sit there and be sitting on the couch and she'd be like, is that your stomach? And I'm like, yep, that's my stomach. And it'd just be like a spin cycle. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's what it felt like. So, yeah. So, long story short, I'm doing much better. I'm hoping this continues and I feel so much better. Yes. But, and, hey, you know, look at the weight this week. is a, is a great improvement. 5.2 down? Yeah. I'll take that any week. Absolutely. And sometimes I get on scale and it doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> so, yeah, let's work with it. Let's yeah. keep, keep moving forward. Well, get it going. Yeah, get so, it done. So I am going to go upstairs, though, and do my blood sugar and my ketones. I'd like to see what Stacy's ketones are. She had a little snafu a week or so ago with some pickles that she bought. Didn't think anything of it. Bought a box of pickles, but they were full of sugar. Famous they didn't, they didn't taste like full sugar. They taste, they're no. spicy. I stole but. one, and the second I put it in my mouth, I'm like, oh, this is sugary. This is sweet. And then I look at the label, and it's like seven grams of sugar for three pickles. And they're, these are slices, not pickles, slices. And Stacy's a pickle hound. So, <laughs> yeah, we, we I, I turned that off right away. I'm like, you got to stop this. Yes. Didn't realize it, though. No, I didn't. Hey, it's mm -hmm. real life. Yeah. That's, you, you find it, you adjust it, and you move. When we make a grocery list, I always put best label next to whatever I'm asking for on the grocery list if I'm not the one shopping. Yeah. I, I just put... Give me the best label. Find the one that's the least harmful. <laughs> At the grocery store, it's not the easiest thing sometimes, you know? Yeah. When you're looking for an ingredient or something. So, but yeah, um, I will add in those sugars and ketones for me at least. And um, maybe I'll do that on a regular basis. Just bring a little kit down and take my finger and see where I'm at on sugar. And yeah. It's not been great. I'll be honest. It's been 180 range. One Lowest I had was a 127, which was fantastic. And I don't even know what caused that. Yeah. And then the highest I've had was like a 220. And I was not happy about that. So uh, what was the other thing? Uh, oh, I've been taking melatonin at night. And I mm. never thought that this stuff worked. I think I tried it years ago and it didn't do anything. Um, then they gave me sleeping pills. Only five milligrams. Yeah, and then they gave me sleeping pills, and that was just made me feel like a zombie. I didn't want that either. Stacy had recommended, hey, just try this from Costco. So I grabbed some of the melatonin and mm -hmm. didn't expect it to help or anything. Uh, my problem is not that I'm not tired. It's that I can't turn my brain off. And um, I've been very making a very conscious effort to turn laptops, iPads, phones, TVs off after about midnight. Yeah. And then I take that melatonin, I lay down, I close my eyes, I put my little CPAP mask on, and I just try and deep breathe and try and just focus on tomorrow. You know, I make a list on my phone of what I want to try and accomplish tomorrow, earlier in the day. So that way I'm not laying there thinking, tomorrow I really got to get that garbage out and I got to work on that generator and I got to... No, I make the list and then, you know, we talk or see a little TV if mm -hmm. we have a chance. And last night we caught up a little bit on Big Brother. Yeah, I got out at eleven thirty last night instead of midnight. Yeah, so we, we actually were able to get a program in and still lay down a little after twelve. Yeah. So it was it was really nice. But uh yeah, so I'm I'm trying the melatonin and I gotta say, I did not think it would do anything, but within about thirty to forty minutes I'm able to doze off. And there have been days I lay there till four or five in the morning and then I just say, 
Forget it, I get up. And here's the big thing. In the morning when I get up, because I'm getting up at 7 for Julia to make sure she's up and getting ready for school. And I usually lay back down for a little bit uh, because I typically start my day. I have to leave the house by like 9.30, uh, 9, 9.30, depending Most on days, when. Yeah. Um, and he doesn't stir. He'll he'll blow me a kiss and he'll roll back over and go right back to sleep. Normally, once I get up, he's up and just he's oh, up yeah. for the day. When I'm up, I'm up. Even for if the he's day. still tired. So with the melatonin, it's got him so relaxed, which is nice. Um, because of course, you know, I get up often to go to the bathroom at night. Mm -hmm. Just change my medicine and be hopeful. Um, they upped my dosage. Um, so that I don't get up ten thousand times at night to go to the bathroom. Hmm. And uh, so last night was my first uh, dosage of the new, and um, I'm very helps. hopeful that that will work. Um, so that way I can stay in bed all night, <laughs> get more restful sleep right. instead of waking up to go to the bathroom. Exactly. Yeah, you've always had that problem. I've always had that problem since we've been married. <laughs> so, but this this stuff hopefully helps you. And if you yeah. notice, I'm not drinking my coffee and drinking water. Um, I've been. You know, here's one thing. I would like to have some type of a drink here yeah. occasionally. Um, I uh, mostly drink black coffee, uh, water, of course. Thanks. Uh, I'm, I'm scared to die of pop because of the stuff, that, some of the stuff that's in it. Occasionally, like when we went on our mini vacation, I had some die of pop. And um, I've read and heard, and, you know, not the greatest things about it. But I'm trying to figure out something that I can have if I want a little bit of a treat drink with yeah. A sandwich one after. We tried the Zip Fizz. Not a fan of the Zip Fizz. It's okay. I'm not at least. It's okay. It just gives you something different. Um, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. So maybe in the comments, if you guys are still around hanging out while listening to us, let us know <laughs> what you're drinking during your keto. And, and everybody's different. I'm not judgmental. I, I, I read it all. And some people say Diet Pop is not causing a problem for them. But just, I don't know. I just guess it's just not my best choice. Right. So I'm just trying to think of some other things. So maybe a little, there's an infuser that you could like put lemon in and things and, you know, shake you it. You know, actually, which is kind of good is cucumber water. It is, yeah, I'd try it. It's so light and refreshing. I did a body art event and um, they brought water over and me. I'm like, oh, there's, there's stuff in it. Right? <laughs> there's a cucumber. What in is, it? I'm like, that's cucumber. I have to say it was actually quite refreshing. It was I, very wonder, good. I wonder if they give a shake of salt to the cucumber or to the water. I don't know, but it was it was it was like good. It was refreshing. With salt on it, so yeah. I wonder if you put a little cucumber salt, salt, or that might just totally ruin it. Yeah, you know, I think just but, cucumber. But, I don't know, but yeah, I'm kind of looking for something that might give me that light uh, little something. I do have a few zip fizzes that Julia didn't find in the drawer because <laughs> when I bought them from Costco in this big pack, oh my gosh, she just attacked them. All the orange were gone immediately. Um, you know things like that. But I did I did find a couple in the back part of the kitchen drawer. So maybe what I'll do is like a, a third of a Zip Fizz or something like, yeah. like not, not a full, full flavor, but just to give water a little flavor. I don't know. Give it a try. But I'm curious what other people are drinking. I've seen or read people talk about Keto Raid or whatever, making their own. Oh. I think it's more for the electrolyte kind of side of things. Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'm curious what you guys are using. Uh, for me, I use monk fruit drops for any sweetener that I use. So if I was to put something in a drink and wanted sweet to it, I wouldn't use like a Splenda or I guess you could use Swerve too. But uh, I use my little monk fruit drops in my coffee occasionally and it gives it a nice little extra. Yeah. So maybe if there's something I could put in water and then put a few drops of that and kind of give myself a little treat now and then. That'd be nice. Very cool. Yeah. So thanks for hanging out with us. It's really been a good week. Uh, I'm hoping for another great week. I don't know where I'm going to be on the weights, but I'll, I'll take this five pounds down this week. And we'll see where next week puts me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just got to keep moving on. It's This is real life. And, yeah. you know, that that's what the whole Saturday updates are about for us to go back and revisit and see where we were and where we're going. Uh, gosh, when you go back to where we started um, and I watch those videos... We look different even. I mean, you and I both look so different. Uh, you know, I'm wearing a 3X shirt now, and I was wearing a 5X that was tight back then. So maybe on our next one for the month, like when it comes to the next month, which would be October, mm -hmm. maybe we'll do some pictures and like some comparison pictures. We haven't done that in a while. Yeah, yeah. We really haven't lost a lot lately, though. It felt like we've been in the stalemate for months here. And 
yeah. you know, maybe I can get another 5'10 down and I don't think I'll be in a 2X anytime soon, but you know, I'm wearing a 3X and I got, I got room. Got room. There are people who wear a 2X when they really should be wearing a 3 and they're like, you know, like this on their body. But yeah, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable in my 3X, which I never would have imagined. Yeah. When we started this, that many, many moons ago that you were comfortable in the three. That I'd be wearing a three and be comfortable. Right. Yeah. Because I was taking the five and I was doing this. I was stretching it. I had some sixes in there too. <laughs> now when I put some of those clothes on, I look like I'm homeless or something. Like I didn't have a choice. Here's the shirt you have to wear, sir. I have my favorite hoodie. You still aren't giving it up. That one I did. I gave it to my sister. Mm. Um it was my travel hoodie. It was a gray one. It was a little big on me at my biggest. Um, but when I put it on now, it's like I'm trying to wear it. You're swimming. <laughs> You're swimming in it. I have yeah. some favorite, you know, sweatshirts and jammy bottoms that I'm like, oh, they don't fit. And they're elastic, so they you more know, stretched out. Um, All your dress clothes, I don't they're know. gone. Yeah. They, they, they just, we, went, we had a holiday party or something. You went to go put dress clothes on. You were 18. And she was pushing the button on an 18, let me tell you. 18, no, no, offense. no offense, but she was pushing the button because I was the one sewing the button back on. And uh, what are you now, like a 6'8"? Yeah. Yeah, so when you put an 18 on a 6 frame or an 8 frame, yeah. Go back in the fitting room, please. <laughs> so, I still so find it times. hard to, when I go shopping, I want to gravitate the women's section because I wore women's clothing we did. for so long. When we walked into like a pennies or something, we always looked for the, you know, yeah. the, the, I didn't understand the whole girl stuff doesn't make sense to me, but you know, she's like, no, you can't go to petite. You can't go to missus. You can't go to here. You got to go here. I'm so. too tall for petite, but I, I can fit in the juniors. Um, and then just the regular sizing, which is nice, but it's still that habit to want to go over. And I have a few things I just don't want to, I just don't want to get rid of. They were my favorites, but I, I won't it. wear them out of the house because no, I look I ridiculous in them now. But if you love it, you love it. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it's big and tall. I just jump online and get big and tall. Or I go on Amazon because I'm an Amazon shopper, if you hadn't noticed. Um, but no, I'll jump on there. I'll look for like Fruit of the Loom, three extra large uh, um, shorts. You know, yeah. like my daily shorts with the drawstring in them. I wear those all the time and they're cheap. So, yeah. But it, it's nice to be able to, to downsize on... The stuff I put a I had a pair of swim trunks, they were six X. I swear I could have put Julia in there with me. I was like, How did I wear these? And the string was tied too. So at one point I had lost a little bit enough to where I pad the string, but when I loosened the string and opened them even more, I'm like, Holy cow, what was I thinking? Yeah, I should have kept some of my pants and put them on now and did the, <laughs> yeah, the side have, thing. Yeah, you could go to the Salvation Army and put out a 20. And then, you know, like go and hold it and so you can see the difference. But it's, yeah, it's yeah. crazy. It's been crazy. But it's a good crazy. No, it's a great crazy. And, uh, you know, things are going well for us. And I'm very happy to report that for a change. So, Yay. well, thanks for checking in with us and hanging out with us. We're going to get Stacy going to work. And I'm going to go do my blood sugar and my ketones so I can add it into this video. And uh, we will see you maybe. Do we have anything going on this week that we can actually get a video out? Because we have a couple ideas yeah. we want to do. I, I've got all of Monday and Tuesday off. Now we're picking up Lauren. Um, we have a couple of doctor's appointments and eye appointments um, for Lauren and I on Tuesday. For the years um, but we're going to do some prepping for her. Um, I made oh, meatballs food. for her. Meatballs and hamburgers so that she could freeze. Um, last time I picked her up. And now that it's getting chilly, she asked me last night really late, like 12 o'clock, she texted me and asked if I could make her, because we used to make this all the time together, um, Cream of rice, lemon soup. So a lemon rice soup, yeah. cream based, and uh, chicken based is what I used. Yeah, I have not looked at labels of things like that. If I was to put that together, obviously I couldn't have the rice, but I could maybe substitute some cauliflower, which always makes me go. <laughs> cauliflower is gross, but maybe I could substitute in there for the the feeling of it and the flavor of the cream and the lemon would oh, take away the away. yuck yeah. of the cauliflower. I don't know. Actually, cauliflower is not bad. I like it raw. I don't like it cooked. Um, but it's yeah, it's mushy. Yeah, but uh, I've got to do something for her on the plain Jane side because she's not doing keto anymore, unfortunately. No, but she did maintain. So she's maintained what she lost. She lost about twelve, I think. Yeah. So. You know, college life and living with roommates is um, very different. Budget when, shopping. Yeah, they're budget shopping and 
last time she came home, she says, Mom, could you please make me meatballs? She goes, I'm tired of pasta and I'm tired of ramen. That mean? And, um, yeah. So I, I was working. So I got all the stuff. Bill made them for her. And uh, she got still the hamburgers made. Around. Yeah. So we'll, we'll get her. in the freezer and she pulls a couple out and zaps She them. did. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. So thanks again for watching and hanging yeah. out with us. We appreciate you all. And uh, yeah, yeah. hope you have a great day. It's a little chilly out here in Michigan. I think it's like 61. I lost the game. I turned the heat on today. <laughs> it was freezing in here. I got up. It was like 61 degrees and I was just shaking. I, all I could think of was Julia in her room. I'm like, I need to turn the heat on. Absolutely. Yeah. So I turned on 65 just to get some warmth in the house. And it's cold down here too, in yes. the basement. So. Now, I am not cold because I am layered to the hilt with my 32 degree stuff. And you're smart. <laughs> you're just smart. You know what you're doing. <laughs> But thanks again, guys, and we will catch you uh, maybe during the week if we can get that cookie recipe. And yeah. she was wanting to work on a cookie thing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe if I can figure out something cool for chicken lemon rice soup, maybe I'll do a keto chicken rice. Yeah, soup. we'll figure. We'll see what Can't we can figure out. Can't call it keto chicken rice lemon soup, but <laughs> I don't know. Figure it out. Lemon soup. Something. Yeah. We'll see ya. Bye.